What's up, IHS? I'm your host, Nathaniel Simons. And I'm Ren Hogue. This week, we talk about some downtown Ithaca news, IHS sports, and entertainment events at Cornell. On Thursday, March 7th, the Ithaca Downtown Alliance held its annual awards dinner and ceremony for the best people and places of downtown Ithaca. The awards included the Lifetime Achievement Award, given to Joanne Cornish and Mac Travis, the Emerging Business of the Year Award received by The Watershed, and the Retailer of the Year Award won by Sunny Days of Ithaca, which has recently moved to a new location on the Commons. The dinner also featured the Downtown Ithaca Alliance's new 10-year plan to guide the expansion of Downtown Ithaca until 2030. Now over to Jackson and Ben with a sports segment. Thanks, Nate, and welcome to the sports segment with your hosts, Laugh and Oats. As the winter season winds to a close, temperatures are rising and the spring sports are starting. This includes lacrosse, baseball, tennis, track and field, and softball. It will be an exciting season and we will be looking forward for what's to come. Now, a few shout outs. First, Brett Wilcox on JV Lacrosse. Number two, David Sign, Varsity Lacrosse. And last but not least, Noel Foster on Varsity Baseball. Captain of the Bench Squad. Love, Love you, Noel. Noel. Thanks, boys. In other news, Cornell University will be welcoming three mainstream entertainers on the weekend of March 22nd. ASAP Ferg, ASAP 12, and Eric Andre. On March 23rd, Eric Andre will be performing live comedy at Bailey Hall. The popular comedian is best known for his TV show on Adult Swim, The Eric Andre Show. The tickets were sold out very quickly, leaving many fans disappointed. The following night, popular rapper ASAP Ferg will be performing at Barton Hall with ASAP 12 as the opening act. ASAP Ferg has released three studio albums and is best known for his songs Mattress Remix and Hood Pope, while ASAP 12 has released one studio album and is best known for his songs Diamonds, Strapped, and A Glorious Death. Tickets are still available for this show on the Cornell University website and will also be available at the door for a slight upcharge. Well, that's all for this week, IHS. See you next week. You know, today, I just woke up and I said,